Welcome to Big Bend National Park! I'm good, how are you Josh? you're gonna see which are the best things to do here in Big Bend National Park. And then once you go up that hike, you go on a bit on a rocky situation, but it's gorgeous because you're walking beside the river. You go on a sandy part. So amazing! And once you get to the sandy part, there's bushes and monolith, big rock that will hide you from the sun. It's pretty hot out here. It's like 84 degrees. Fahrenheit. Yeah, once you get over the rock, it's not gonna be that sunny. It's the end of the trail and you go to the water. It's 7 p.m. right now. I'm here in Terlinga Ghost Town and I'm eating uh, one of the restaurants here. It's a street taco place. It's called Taqueria El Milagro. It's pretty cool. They have an outdoor setup, patio style. I got myself some asada, chopstick, taco, street taco, and a nopalito, which is a prickly pear. It's kind of a cactus. I'm new to this one, so let's try. Kind of weird. And I got myself some horchata too. So cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Rio Grande Village. This is Rio Grande Village, which is like an hour away from the entrance. Hi, I'm here now in the overlook of the Rio Grande village. It's super nice over here. It's a short trail. It's like 0.7 miles, less than a mile. There are two ways you can go straight to the overlook, which I'm at, or you could do the loop, which goes to the river. So that's actually uh, another scenic route. Going here from the entrance, they have the metal bridge because there's a swamp over there and it protects you from going 
on the swamp so you could actually stay by the bench and just hang out there if you like there are fish in the river if you want to see that and then you go to stairs or a hike going to the overlook until you reach the overlook which is not bad at all the elevation is not bad at all or you could do the longer one the loop one which goes around and you could go to the river you could see more of the plants and more of the nature it's also lovely right now i'm enjoying this hike a lot the view up here is really great you can see the rio grande what's fun here is that there are for sale stuff on the ground i think it's an honesty system it says that it's a donation for a school this stuff are like you could see roadrunner snake or wooden rod that's it i'm super enjoying this trip Rock is also an amazing place to go here in Big Bend National Park. It's a little bit crazy going here, especially if you're driving a sedan. You enter this grapevine street and it's sort of a grapevine. I don't know why they name it grapevine. Maybe because of the grapevine look of the road. I know now why they call it grapevine road because you have to drive like a grapevine. <laughs> If you're driving a sedan, it's kind of low. Drive slower because there are dips, especially when you're near this trail. Once you get here, you'll see a lot of cars park and you know for sure that you are here. And it's called the Grapevine Hill Trail. And you start flat. It's nice to see the boulders around you and some plantation of the Big Bend National Park. It's quite cool. And once you get over that flat, you have to go on an elevation with the boulders it's kind of cool and when you're very very near hike some more it's a little bit challenging when you're near this balanced rock but once you get here it's pretty worth it so i highly suggest this trail i wish i had more time for trails but today i went to the Rio Grande village and then the balance rock and then now I'm doing this window trail this is probably one of the best spots here in Big Bend National Park for sunset it's called the window you can hike it but today I'm so tired so I went around here it's a paved road very very simple there are three places you should remember here in Big Bend national park the first one is the santa elena part where you will drive the ross maxwell scenic route towards the santa elena canyon and that's really really pretty you have the other side which is the rio grande village they have different trails there too and then you have the jesus mountain i honestly don't know which one is my favorite <sighs> They're all so surreal. I think you should spend your time wisely. Although it's not as big as the other national parks, it's still big. You could definitely do something in a day, but honestly, you need more than a day. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Big Bend National Park. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.